What's up guys? It's Mama Deadhead and I am back with another reaction video. But as you can clearly tell by the title, this is a very different type of reaction video. I'm actually going to be venturing out and watching other shows next month and when it hits May 1st, I will release the calendar for what May will look like. But currently the schedule and other extra content is out on Patreon for those curious. Orville. <laughs> Orville. So, Orville, Orville, Orville. I love the show. The reason I started watching it, I actually started watching it, I wouldn't say, like, live from the first episode. I think it was a few episodes in when I started in the first season. But this is the type of show that I'm sure that most people, if you haven't heard me talk about the Orville, are probably like, Mama's doing a reaction to what? Um, <laughs> typically I'm not into this type of show. I'm not really into sci-fi really that much. I'm not really into... I'm not sure if this is classified as like a drama or a comedy or what, but it definitely has more of a comedic feel to it. Um, and again, typically not something I would watch. The reason why I started watching this, and for those that may not know or haven't seen this show before and are tuning in, or if you're tuning in for the first time, hi! <laughs> Welcome to my channel! Hi Orville Watchers! Um, the reason why I started watching this is because I am a massive Chad Coleman fan. I adore Chad Coleman. Chad Coleman played Tyrese in The Walking Dead and I, I adore him. He's just so sweet and so kind and so helpful and meeting him just like changed a lot for me and basically the reason why I started my channel. So when I saw that he was on this show, any show that he's in or any movie he's in, I'm gonna give a chance to. And I started watching it and fell in love with the show. It's it's so weird because like I said, it really isn't something that I'm normally a fan of. And this is one of those rare shows that I, I'm trying to think right now in my head, but I don't think that I dislike any characters. There are bad guys, of course, but I actually think they're kind of cool bad guys, and I don't, I don't really have any hard feelings towards any species on this show, any certain character, whoever. I kind of just like everyone. Now there's certainly like a hierarchy to who I like. Like, I realize that Ed and Kelly are probably main characters, although we see a lot of all the characters all the time. A lot of episodes are like centric to one person. Um, they do a good job of showing everyone. They're probably a bit lower than some of the other people, but I wouldn't say that I straight up dislike them, if that makes sense. I I still, if anyone dies in this finale, I'm probably gonna cry, I'll be honest with you, because I, I really like them, and I love Gordon. <laughs> love Gordon. Um, I love the Mocklin. Mocklin are just something else. Like, of course I don't like their, like, core ideals like on their actual home planet. I, I'm not a fan of those but I think Bordas and Clyden are hilarious and interesting and Clyden of course being Chad Coleman. I don't know if I said that. Sorry I'm jumbled. I'm just really excited. This is my first reaction to the show. I don't have any like merch or any cool stuff to be like hey I'm putting this in my reaction like I do with Walking Dead but just know that this show has like really shot up as far as like my favorite shows of like all time. It's definitely like probably in the top five if I'm gonna be honest. Just because it's so interesting and it just seems like every episode's an adventure and this <laughs> this finale, I really wanted to do a reaction to the finale. Um, me and my husband have been watching this show together. This was kind of our show so this <laughs> is kind of a betrayal doing a reaction for you guys because um, he actually really likes the show too. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. My first one, and it's gonna be to a finale, and from what I've seen on Twitter, it's gonna be explosive. So, let's go ahead, get this reaction started, guys. And if you are not a fan of Orville, and you're still hanging on to watch this video, or maybe get a feel for the show, um, thank you very much. If you are a new viewer to my channel, and this is just your first video. You, maybe you don't even like The Walking Dead. Maybe you just like The Orville and you ran across it. Thank you for being here too. Um, I'm venturing out into other shows. 
kind of scared because I've never done anything outside of like zombies. <laughs> so just hopefully you feel welcome and please comment down below if you are new to my channel so I know that the Orville brought you here because I definitely need some more Orville watchers in my life, some more Orville fans and some more Macklin fans. I love Macklin. But anyway, alright, let's go ahead and get this reaction started, you guys. I feel like, are these people from the Oroville? Oh no! I wasn't even thinking about them. I was thinking about what happened with Kelly. No! Oh my god, I'm so scared. Who are they? Are they hurt? They need to get out of there. Oh, there's someone from the Orville because they're on a sh exploratory ship. It looks like Gordon. Gordon and someone. Oh, I'm already so scared. I knew it was Gordon! At least for a while. There's no such thing as safe anymore. Ed! Why are they sending the captain? Why are they sending Ed out? Oh my god, I'm already horrified! <laughs> oh, I should not lose Gordon in this episode. Yeah, well, they've managed to wipe out half the known galaxy in less than nine months. Where do we go? Calamon. What are you, insane? This can't be worse than anywhere else. Way of the course. Wait, what's happened? I can't remember the last time I had a decent meal. What? Oh, oh, oh look at that. I wanted a Twinkie. You want half? Yes, I want half. <laughs> She never called me back. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here now. What the fuck? Oh my god. What am I about to tell you? It's gonna be a lot to take in. Oh yeah. Uh, girl who blew me off seven. That's the ship the Kalon used to get through Earth's defenses, right? Yeah. We were all supposed to be aboard. Wow. What do you mean, supposed to? Half the known galaxy wiped out by those people. Because we didn't go out again. Wait, wait, wait. wait. E even if all of this were true, and Holy there were crap. a way to go back, and that's a... Us. You and I, we've been through so much pain. I'm my fuck. I'm literally speechless. We observe her from the outside. Man, this is wild. I did not think that I would be so speechless. I'm like always so outspoken. Please be Mothlin. Please be Clyde and Immortus. Oh, that looks 
really cool. This is giving me lost vibes for some reason. <gasps> what do you want? Yeah. Yeah, it is me. Okay, hang on. Is it Fortis? Please be Fortis. Shot like straight in the heart. Boom! I fell 22 feet. Yes, boom! Of security. Yeah, I don't have a small package for you. You can count on them. Have to be able to count on someone.
that. And it fits the... Any luck? Uh, not yet. If it doesn't work... Come on, where are you? Don't mind. We're gonna pick your brain a little. Your species extinction is inevitable. It would be far more efficient to surrender. Not today, my man. There are four Kalon vessels closing off the port bow. How far out? Approximately two minutes to intercept. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Oh my god, but if it doesn't... I love you both so much. Kalon vessels will intercept in one minute. Doctor. Oh, I'm literally horrified. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Please have fucking work. Wait, what's going on? Well, um, I know this goes completely against the cool guy playbook, but I had a really great time with you last night, and I was wondering if I could take you out again. I love it. All right, guys, so that episode is over and I wish you could feel my heart because I thought I was going to throw it up <laughs> the majority of that episode. Hopefully you guys can see, maybe this isn't, maybe I'm not as talkative as I normally am in The Walking Dead reactions, but again, this is like new territory for me and I don't know if I seem like it, but some of these characters I do have like a really genuine attachment to. And oh my god, even just hearing in this alternate timeline that Clyden and Topo were gone, it gutted me. It gutted me. <sighs> um, seeing the Orville blow up. Man, I realize that it's an alternate timeline, but... <sighs> Again, that's like such a gutting moment because you don't know if it's, if, if everything's going to be okay in a show like this. And I haven't really heard much about a third season, so I wouldn't put it past me to like explode and that's the end of the Orville, which would be horrifying and terrible and I'd probably cry over it, but um, I guess unfortunately could have happened. I'm so happy that everyone's alive and I, I feel that it's just like this um 
I guess it's more equivalent to a show like Criminal Minds as far as like deaths go, but for all the people watching that maybe don't watch The Walking Dead or just new here, I'm used to shows like killing off people um, that I love all the time. So to have this show not do that uh, is new and I worry a lot about it. Um, gotta see my main girl, my main girl, Alora. I'm so happy that we got to see her. I mean, she was also blown up in this episode, but it was nice to see her back because I do miss her very much. She was such a likable character. I like the person that took her place. I think that she is also a wonderful person, great head of security, um, but you know, it's just, there's something about those like season one character, well, of this show that I don't know, it's just so likable when you get attached to a show and it's immediate. Some shows I'm not attached to immediately. Sometimes it takes me a few episodes to get into a show. It didn't with a show. So all the people from season one, like I said, don't really dislike anyone. I never disliked anyone from the start like I do other shows. And it's just sad when people leave and horrifying in a finale when you think that they might die. But I think that this was a really really awesome finale. <laughs> no one died. Yay. In our timeline, no one died. Um, or in their current timeline, no one died. So that's nice. Seeing the moon like that, chilling. Seeing the earth like that, chilling. Wow. Seeing the Orville at the bottom of the ocean, at literally the, the deepest depths of the ocean is insane but to see them bring it back up and then oh I just be destroyed again that's crazy I'm happy that there were no tears the way that it was marketed the little snippets that we got well mainly on Twitter I don't normally watch like TV TV but on Twitter I saw some like little sneak peek type things for tonight and we saw the exploding of the Orville but I mean we obviously didn't know the circumstances knowing them now <laughs> a lot better. I was horrified going into tonight's episode. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. If you are new here, thank you for coming along on this Orville journey with me. If you are not and you're just here because it's me, thank you. I really genuinely appreciate anyone that followed me into the show, especially if you don't watch it. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be all for this reaction, guys. <sighs> Yes, yes, it went good. It went good. It went good. I can't wait for season three. I'm probably going to do a couple of videos on Orville and just expectations, predictions, and what I thought about this season. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys. What's up, everybody? Always think positive thoughts and send positive vibes. It's from Mama Deadhead, y'all. And I always remember, I know what's happening. And I know what's going on. And please, always nurture your inner spirit. Peace.